Hey guys, this is Ray Lee and this is my judge review video. Um, first of all, I want to say good job to both group. You guys have all done a wonderful job and I really appreciate all the time and effort you have put in for this project. Again, great job. Um, so I want to break down to each group and talk a little bit about things that I like about the presentation and things that I think could be improved of your presentations. So um, let's begin. Um, so let's begin with group B. Um, first of all, I want to say I really like that you guys has made a very clear list of all the advantages, functions, and um, selling point of your product, such as it's organic and is specialized for toys and it has a lock on the bottle and so that kid wouldn't you know accidentally spray it or drink it i think this is a very great move because from a investor point of view you know um being given all these informations um very straightforward and clearly um is definitely um making your product more attractive to me and i, I get to know your product better and so that i could make my decisions more accurately and in other words um that would make your presentation more persuasive and convincing to me so i think that's a great point and besides i also appreciate the song you guys has at the very end of the presentation i think it's a very creative way to advertise a product i think although even if this is not an advertisement this is just a presentation um for investor I still believe that you know having something catchy and creative in your presentation is definitely you know make the whole presentation more impressive. So I would say that's a great move. Good job, Devon. Um, but I also have something that I believe um, your group can improve uh, in your presentation. So I don't know if you guys still remember that I had a questions about. Um, what made your product um, a product that serves for only one purpose more competitive than other multifunction product? And I forgot who answered that question, but um, whoever answered that question um, just told me that um, the the material that is used in your product, or let's say um, single function product, is very different from those multifunction product. Um, because for single function product, especially like your product, um, you know, that cleans the toys, um, the material is going to be more safe, um, more, it's going to be safer, it's going to be um, more organic, and, uh, you know, and that is less toxic for a baby. But um, that was a good explanation, I got to say, because it, it does... Um, you know, make things clear for me, but that was not what I expected. I was expecting um, some very solid um, sources, very um, solid data, evidence, or report uh, from reliable institutes or authorities, uh, you know, stuff like that. Because as an investor, I would more willing to believe um, you know, information that from a third party, a party that has no interest in this whole situation. I think if you guys can provide like some third party information, this is definitely going to make your, um, the whole presentation more convincing and persuasive to me as a investor. So yeah, that's all I have for group B. Again, great job guys. And now is group A's turn. Um, first of all, I really like the part that you guys gave out a lot of scientific information and background knowledge about your product. I think for investors who do not have a biology or chemistry background, these informations are incredibly helpful in terms of clarify some of their questions and concerns. So that's definitely a good move to take. But on the other hand, I also believe that your group can kind of just make this background knowledge part 
a little bit more compact, you know, just summarize that a little bit more, because um, at some point I feel like um, this part has been too long and a little bit redundant, and and it get to the point that it kind of distracting me from the core of your presentation, which is the product itself. So I think it could definitely make your presentation um, more persuasive if you guys can just you know make that background knowledge part more compact um besides i want to talk about uh one thing that i really like about your presentation no actually the whole group in general is that um you guys are able to give me a lot of solid um evidence and data when i um have a questions about your product so i don't know if you guys do remember but i asked a questions about um, whether the salicylic acid in your product would affect the pH value. Um, so I remember it was Paige and Kevin who answered those questions. And they, they both gave me a lot of solid um, numbers, data, and evidence from third party. Um, such as, like, I think one of them told me that um, uh, this this acid is a very weak acid and the amount that um, added to the product is very 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 small and so it would have very limited effect on the pH value of the product and also this is a I think like FDA approved drug that um, to use into this kind of product um, I think these informations are really really helping me as an investor to make my final judgment of whether I should invest into this um, product because it clarified a lot of my concern, it answered a lot of my question. So when it gets to the point that um, I know everything about the product, I could definitely make my decision easier. So I think that's a that's like the wonderful move you have taken to us to um, research into. Um, all those evidence and data and stuff like that and I really like that as a investor and so yeah again good job guys I really appreciate all the work and effort and yeah that's all I have for group A thank you um, so for my final decisions um, I will give it to group A because um, I believe that they have given me enough um, information and knowledge that is sufficient to convince me that this product is going to do well in the market and uh, it clarify um, they clar clarify all of my concern and questions um, so I think that it will be a less risky decisions to invest into group A's product but again um, that doesn't mean um, I don't like group B's or anything you know because I believe both group has done a terrific job I really really appreciate all the work and efforts and time um, you guys spend in this project and uh, this is just me um, you know as a judge I have to I have to pick one so probably this one is uh, I think I like it a little bit more than the other one but doesn't mean um, the other one is not good so yeah, so that's my final decision. Thank you.